So here's our morning poultry feeding at Independence Homestead. We thought it was pretty funny looking, so we thought we'd take a video and show you. We have our ducks and our chickens here all eating together. So we have multiple dishes, and you can see in the front there, the chicken also is uh, taking a bath in the water that I just refilled, the duck. Um, so anyway, there's multiple feeders and waters. There's another water in the back there by the fence where you can see the ducks again bathing. And there's another feeder there on the right. So we put feed in all these different feeders so they can all have access, even the ones low on the pecking order. And it's just a feeding frenzy. Our ducks are khaki Campbells. They're for laying eggs. They are not yet old enough to lay eggs, but in another month or two they should be. And the chickens, we have a variety of different breeds. We have some Buff Orpingtons, a couple Delawares, Americanas, one Egyptian Fayumi, and the white ones, remember what they are? White rock. They're white rocks, I think. So, they lay brown eggs. And then we have one Spitzhob in there on the right that... Red sex things. One with a funny head. And then there's a couple red sex things in here, too. One of the red sex things is picking at the cup there. Oh, yeah, there's one dark brahma as well. Yeah, see, lots of different breeds. <laughs> lots of different chicken breeds. So here's the water. We like to use these rubber pans because uh, this time of year when the water freezes, we can just flip those over and knock them and the ice falls out. In the summer we use chicken nipples with an automatic watering system. For the feeders, we have black dishes, like the ones they're eating from here, that were given to us with some goats and so we just use those because we have them. But they seem to work fine. And then we also have some pipe feeders that we made on our own out of PVC. We like them because it's easy to put feed in them and there's a few holes so the chickens kind of are forced to share because they all reach through their own hole. Plus, uh, feed can be held back in the pipe so you can have a good amount of feed in there that falls down as feed is eaten. So we like all of those. The feed we use is uh, non-GMO Project Verified, and it's also tested to make sure it doesn't contain a variety of pesticides. It's Highland Naturals feed. We've been really happy with it. We do ferment it before we feed it to the chickens. So if I look at the chickens, let me kind of get in this feeder here. You can see how it's kind of wet in there. That's because we ferment the feed and pour it in, kind of like an oatmeal or a porridge. And over here, you have the ducks all lining up to get their drinks and clean their bills and take their baths. We have to change out that water a couple times a day because that was like fresh, clean water five minutes ago. And they, they, they use it, and that's fine. That's what it's there for. And then we clean it out a few times a day so they have more fresh, clean water to use. In summer, we have many more watering ponds set up for them. But in winter, we have to carry all the water out here to replace the ice that freezes, so we don't keep quite as many water sources out here in winter. There's our coop, our chicken coop, and on the bottom you can see there's a PVC pipe with those red nipples. That's what we use in summer. It's hooked up to a rain barrel, and the chickens know to just go up there and peck at the, uh, the nipples to get their water. There's a couple of ducks underneath the coop. We purposely did have the coop elevated like this so that the poultry would have a place they could go under and hide, and also to keep rodents or other pests like that from being able to tumble in from the ground underneath. And there's the coop, and then more chickens. Harley. And then here's our, our rabbit tree with all the rabbit cages there. Yeah. And that's it. Thanks so much.